We're joined post-game on the Memphis Tigers radio network by head coach Melissa McFerrin as Memphis falls against UConn this evening, 94-55. Coach, you're undermanned this evening. Seven players, obviously, fell behind in the first half and tough to get back to even. Tonight, it looked like the fast breaks were really a killer. What did you see? Uh, no doubt, the fast breaks were a killer. Um, whether they were getting them off of a rebound or whether we were missing a layup and giving up in transition, that's our number one goal against UConn is get their transition stopped. And we just simply couldn't do it tonight. I felt it at times we had three people back, but we didn't have that fourth. And UConn's just going to swing the ball along the three-point line until you forget to guard somebody. And that's what happened early in the game a lot. In terms of success, Madison Griggs obviously showing what she can do from outside the arc. Do you feel good at least about the way that she played this evening against a very talented UConn squad? Well, and I'll tell you what, uh, Gino put uh, Dangerfield on her and even had her in a box and one more time. So um, obviously she is getting a lot of respect from opponents. It's going to make her a better player because she's going to have to learn how to corner off screens, read screens better, step people off and, and create some space. She's, she's getting better every game and she certainly did tonight as well. You called timeout there midway through the fourth quarter to get some things straight with your kids. What were you talking about as they came down the stretch there? Well, we just had so many times on offense where um, I'd call a timeout and, and draw up a play, not a new play, a play that we do all the time and put people in certain spots trying to get a shot. And we we just continued not to do those things. So I don't know if we were a little shell shocked. Uh, we, we had every reason to be shell shocked, but you know, I'm just not used to our team not taking something from the bench to the floor. And so I was, I was a little put out by that. And so, yeah, so I called another timeout to make sure we knew what we were doing. Coach, we appreciate the time as always. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Tyler.